Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Vixen After Dark. Thank you so much for staying tuned in, tapped in, turned on. I'm your host, Latisha Pilofo. If you guys haven't already joined the fam, please make sure you go ahead and smash that subscribe button and click the bell right next to it. That way you guys are notified every time I go live. What's up guys? So we are bringing back the monthlies. After that, it will be members only. So make sure you are a member for the monthlies. After I see the statistics of how this plays out, um, that would be my deciding factor, but I thought this month of August has a lot going on. Let's kind of go over it. I do have my notes here for you guys. If you have not been watching my astro updates, my energy updates, my collectives, all that, um, if you have not been, here's a little quick rundown of what's happening in August. We did start out with a bang. We had the new moon in Leo. We also had Mercury retrograde and the sign of Virgo. And then also on top of that, uh, we do have Venus moving into Virgo as well. Now, moving further, we do have some aspects that are playing out with Mars, and Jupiter. And we got a lot of squares and challenges this month all across the board. So that's why I thought I'd do this video. Mercury then goes direct and leaves Virgo, goes into Leo. Uh, we do also have our full moon coming up in Aquarius. So that's Saturn energy playing out. And then the sun will then enter Virgo towards the end of the month. Also to then Venus will tap out of that and go into Libra, okay? So a lot of action playing out. I thought I'd give you an update on that. Now, without further ado, so if you're a Sag Moon or Rising, however this pertains to you, I always say take what resonates and leave out the rest. We're gonna talk about love, money, and career. Well, actually love will be in the Venus video. Uh, so this is more of your messages, ancestor messages, chakra cards, oracles, and your tarot astrology, okay? I did love readings as a bonus, and I went in for each individual sign um, for Venus being in Virgo. So check those videos out for love and relationships, okay? So let's go ahead and start with your tarot astrology. Yeah, that Venus energy is coming out, Sag. We've got Nine of Swords, okay? We also have the Sun. King of Swords in reversed. Then we have the King of Pentacles right after that. Then we have the Ace of Pentacles reversed. <sighs> Saggy. I'm feeling here there could be something going on. Hopefully with this Venus energy, it could be love or money that could, you know, make it to where you are just in your head a lot you're doing a lot of thinking a lot of processing this could be you know leaving you restless at night you know dreaming about your vision or dreaming about what you could do so you could be in your head a lot a lot of sleepless nights could be playing out for you um, but i feel here it's because you could be very anxious and you want you know to freedom could be a thing for you like you just want to be free and you want to get out of what you're in um, you want something better for yourself it feels like you guys have a vision for yourself but it might not be happening as fast so you could be going to sleep like overworking yourself and then think of dreaming about work or if you're starting a business or a couple of businesses you could be just either really excited about them or you could just be feeling like okay i want to do this i want to do this you could have a lot of ideas so your mind could be racing a lot but i feel here you know it's kind of a reminder with the sun energy you know, we just left Leo season, so it's kind of like, what fire, what what fueled your fire? You know, keep that inner child energy going where you can be utilizing your imagination to expand and keep going further. I feel here, there could be some days where it's, you know, better than worse and you're feeling happy. You could be feeling really good about yourself and the direction that you're going. Um, so it's pretty much like a reminder for you to, Keep that warm, fuzzy energy, happy, feeling alive and spread that out, okay? Um, because I, I feel here, you know, there could be times where, you know, Sag, you could be very, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> Sarcastic, um, even about your own things that you're going through. It's like you went in a detriment with yourself. It's like, oh yeah, I spent like 5,000 on that. And then now I gotta get my car free. Oh, <laughs> like it's like, you really ain't got it like that. And it's really a bad thing, but you laugh at anything that could be negative and try and turn it into a positive. Um, this is with this King of Swords energy. So it's telling you like, yes, it's good to be 
you know, having all these ideas will make sure you have some structure and some discipline. It's like you need to discipline certain areas of your life right now during this time if you want to build a foundation or build capital, be able to take care of your family. So use this. Um, King of Swords is Aquarian energy, which is ruled by Saturn, to have a little bit more discipline, especially maybe with things coming out of your mouth. Okay, getting you know, we did have Mercury is Mercury is retrograding right now. It started out in Leo, it's in Virgo to go back into Leo. Um, so make sure you're not saying anything that you'll regret, or make sure you know certain thoughts aren't coming out of your mind to where it's like, you know, I feel like you can lose your power or your reputation with certain things you say, you know, or you could just be really being a wordsmith and you know kind of manipulate your way into a situation or two so just be mindful of the things that you're saying your thoughts stay disciplined and i feel like once you kind of understand that things may not go exactly as planned based off of what you projected out of your own mouth okay then you will see that you'll have the king of pentacles here which is great okay and king of pentacles is the energy of like you know what i got it it's like boss status, big dick energy. It's kind of like, you know what? I'm going here, I'm gonna do it. I got this, I, I can take care of my family. This is that Taurian energy. You know, Taurus, when they got money, they feel good, you know? Even though they have to say, oh yeah, I had to give Shirley $100 to pay her phone bill. Even though you complain about it or gossip about it, but that's Taurian energy where it's like, they don't, get, that's a good thing. You know, when you don't have it, that's when it's not good. Um, so use that fire energy to stay put with the king of pentacles because i feel like once you get a lump sum of, sum of money then it kind of goes away with this ace of pentacles in reverse then you're not seeing any other opportunities then you're like oh my god how can i get this back up and going so i feel like it's going to be up and down for you we're going to get some finance cards in a minute but i feel like be very grounded and mindful. Where are you spending your money? What are you doing with it? Are you investing in things? Okay, so be aware when you get large chunks of change, you know, sometimes slow and steady wins the race. Maybe there's something out there that where you can, it's gonna take days, months, years to actually build a foundation. So this is really giving, you want some fast cash. <laughs> um, you're finding ways to get money now. So remember, it's not about the money, it's about what you can do with the money. So I would make sure however you are receiving these opportunities to get money, it's like you gotta st stick with it if it works, you know, and keep going with it. You can't be in this get rich quick scheme of a mindset or else you're just gonna be in debt or you're gonna lose opportunities or you're gonna put yourself more in a hole and you won't, you won't see the grand things that are actually sitting right in front of you. So make sure you're looking at all your resources. There's something there that can make you tons of money, but you're just not into it because you want now money is what it's giving. Okay, so that's that. Let's talk about money and career right now. Let's see what we got. Now I'm curious. Let me have some money and career for the month of August. Savage. Yeah, it's like your money's gonna go in waves. Like you trying to get a lick? <laughs> we have to Sag for the month of August. So we have feather. Yep, what I just said, easy money. Easy money coming in. This is divine coming in saying, hey, I can give this to you, but it's kind of like saying, you know, if I gave you $100, how can you turn that into $1,000? If I gave you $1,000, can you turn that to $10,000? So with this feather here, there is abundance. Clearly it's in your spread, um, but then you're gonna find yourself with the mask, which is saving money, penny pinching, um you know having to stash things and hide things from yourself so that you don't spend it also hopefully there's no theft going on um you know you just let's say for example you're so anxious to get money you get a loan from something and they turn out to be fraudulent hopefully that's not a thing it's just you got to be very mindful especially during mercury retrograde um so with this moon here, this is where like your funds, you know, you could be getting stuff from unknown sources because you're being guided in a certain direction. There's something that you're involved in or something that you can do to actually build, you know, consistent income and consistent wealth and bring abundance in, but you're just wanting the now. 
okay um you do have gift here like i said you could get lump sums of money randomly and then you just spend it all it's like gifting uh, or giving you could be giving and then receiving you know there could be just a sudden windfall of money um a very generous amount <laughs> so i feel here it's like make sure you can multiply it is what it is if you're getting it in spurts but just you want consistency and you want to be able to do more with it right moving on let's go ahead here i'll just leave these up we're gonna do ancestor messages healer some of you guys may be healers okay it's like use that gift to heal your heal thyself i should say heal yourself you know be a little bit more compassionate with self you know let's say you do have the money and you're like oh dang i shouldn't have spent this i shouldn't have did that i should have did that and then now you're in a detriment or you're in the red or now you don't have enough for something else that you really wanted to do or it could just be very difficult it's giving, you don't have a lot of options. <laughs> oh, I sneeze when I'm channeling. So it's like you need to heal your relationship with money possibly. Also to find ways to heal internally. Sometimes our programs that we have and things, the way we think about something could be leaving us in a detriment because our thoughts, you know, tell our mind, we receive the thoughts and then our mind is like, hmm, and your mind tells your body what to do, action. So it's kind of like what what programs are in there, okay? Not all th thoughts are your thoughts. Um, so maybe it's it's making sure your, your health, right? Let's say you have all this money and your health is bad. You can't really go out, you can't do this, you can't eat that. You gotta make sure that's on point. You know, you can't really enjoy life if you're balling, okay? So really take some time and also show yourself compassion. Don't present yourself in a negative light as soon as you, you know, you're in an opportunity. It's kind of like saying, you know what? Yeah, I'm sorry. I had to do this. I had to do that. I couldn't do that. It's like right away you're announcing all the negative and bad things that you're going through. Introduce yourself in a more positive light. Show yourself a little bit more compassion because things happen. You know, look at our economy. Look at what's happening in the world. Inflation. All these things, you know. But so it's like you got to be a little bit more smarter, a little bit more structured and grounded. So use that Saturn energy to kind of get you there. But be easy with yourself. We all make mistakes. We're not perfect. We all like to just, we're like YOLO. It's kind of like, oh, you know, you only live once. Let's just do this. And then boom, you're in a detriment. So you have to be very careful um, with all of that. Okay. Speaking of healing, let's talk about chakra cards. Let's see what we have for chakra for you what do we have for Sag as far as this chakra Sag perspective so yeah there's something that you could be looking at where you need to switch your perspective okay i know you're on this you're on this energy of like it's go 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 it's very fast it's very flighty and i feel as if there's something that needs to be deaded as far as the way you perceive something right now this could be about love money career it could be anything but changing your perspective will actually have you look at something with a fresh set of eyes and then you'll be able to turn the page, turn the chapter, write a whole new book and start all over again from where you're at. 
okay? We also have love here, okay? Either giving yourself love or opening your heart chakra. I think when you feel loved, that also could either have you not focus really on what's important, but then sometimes also can motivate you to push yourself because you're in a good headspace when you feel loved, okay? Um, also to maybe loving yourself a little bit more. What are some things that you can do to love on yourself, okay? Because remember, like I said, health is wealth. So, you know, taking care of yourself, um, self-care activities, are you doing any of those things for the month of August? You should be tapping into that. Preserving your energy as well. That way you can have a new beginning, a fresh beginning. Um, then you'll be able to close out old patterns, behaviors, cycles, morals, values, beliefs, anything dead. That way you can start something new. So you're going to preserve your energy because there's a lot going on here. If you really want to be able to have time and energy to build a foundation, to have structure, you need to preserve what you got going on. Try not to spread yourself too thin. Um, you have to put your mask on first in order to save somebody else, right? And I feel like you could be doing the opposite. Um, so make sure you're taking those right actions so you can have that new beginning. You can't be like an octopus. Yes, you can wear many hats, but make sure you have a calendar. Make sure you have, you know, get organized, like put it somewhere. I know you guys like to feel free and do whatever you want when you want, but you might have to start drilling it in you know, do Google reminders or have a vision board or a calendar you can physically look at, a calendar you can actually write in and then one on your phone. You might have to just really, really get it in. Like, <laughs> like you gotta go hard for yourself, okay? All right, let's go ahead um, and see what crystals will help you. <laughs> Jesus. You also could be around somebody that shouldn't be around you at this time. Let's see what crystals we have for Sag. All right, we just got one. Let's see. Bismuth. Okay, very pretty. Um, are you in touch with your creative intelligence? Are you willing to look at life with a fresh perspective? Use the symbols of geometry to help create pathways for developing the mental body. Okay, take one step at a time, knowing that the answers will be revealed to you as you work systematically and methodically. I literally just said that. So this could be a crystal that you need to help you with what was already told. So that was just confirmation. And for love and relationships, please click on my Venus and Virgo video. I did a specific reading for you there. So go ahead and watch that. Thank you so much for staying tuned in, tapped in, and turned on. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.